I get this call. And I answer the phone, the guy tells me, hey, you know, uh, I'm from A&E Television. I love it. Anytime I hear a story about an opportunity like that, that comes from a simple call. You know, you got to pick up the phone. Uh, you never know what's going to be on the other end. Today's episode, we're going to actually highlight a band from the uh, Phoenix, Arizona area named Hillbilly Deluxe. Now, we're going to be following Pedro a little bit during this video, but basically... What happened was he got a phone call from a &E Entertainment. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you. You may have already seen it on TV, but today we're going to focus on what happened and uh, where it took them. All right. So let's check it out. So I was sitting at home one day, random, just got home from work, sweaty, sitting on the couch, and I get this call. And I answer the phone, the guy tells me, hey, you know, uh, I'm from A&E Television. I found you guys online. We're filming a TV show. We were wondering if you guys would be willing to do an 80s song, Hillbilly Style. Oh, I said, well, of course. He's, and he said, well, let me tell you a little about the show. He says, it's a show about a, a father and a son who travel the country in an RV, checking out sites and doing things together. And I, and I had seen the show before, so I said, is this that Ozzy show? <laughs> I grew up, grew up listening to Ozzy and, and uh, you know, never expect to be playing in front of him. Of course, probably when I was about 16, I didn't expect to be playing uh, a hillbilly version of Crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. in front of Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> That's pretty unique, but uh, yeah, it seems like, like a Beverly hillbilly version. Beverly hillbilly, yeah. 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 It was pretty cool. Um, I think the fact that they it was like the coolest thing ever. They were, they were smiling and looking at each other, and like, like, wow, you know, like surprise looks on their face while we were playing. And, and I'm always checking the audience out, and they were the audience for this. It was, like, it was, it was pretty cool to see, like, you know, see them enjoying it. And then when we got the show, and they actually portrayed it as like a very positive thing. You know, like, well, let me ask you this: so, if you were given the opportunity once again to cover you know, a metal artist, alternative, you know, classic, you know, southern rock. What do you think y'all do? Metallica. Which one? You're on the spot. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know any of their records. So I don't Kathy know knows about. every Metallica song ever made. Two, actually. I personally would love to do a Prince song, but that's going to be better. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we can feel them. Oh, it just made you feel good. And like they've said, they seemed like they enjoyed it. You know, it seemed genuine. It didn't seem like they were, you know, putting on, you know, like fake smiles, like fake interest in it. So, and just playing it was cool. I obviously, like, I didn't grow up listening to Ozzy per se back in the day. But it was cool. You know, he was a crazy train girl, like, playing the guitar. Some of the classics from the guitar, so it was just, it was, uh, it was fun, you know, it was fun playing with a great group of people, and it was a good song, you know, it was a good experience, it's something that, you know, you'll look back on and tell the kids, <laughs> so, they can, they can, they can, uh, they can deep into the future. So, so simple, I'm from that era, I was never a big fan of my own races, but I turned out he was a very nice guy. The fact that he seemed to enjoy it, seemed to be genuine. His daughter was very nice. I took that as a, a huge positive. It kind of changed my mind. It was really exciting, and Kelly's dog was really cute, really <laughs> little and fluffy, and it was it was really fun. So that's the perfect answer right there from this one right here, who happens to be the star yeah. of the show, yeah. but is one of the most modest people you will ever meet in your entire life. Hands down, the best middle player I've ever heard. I'm going to play up to you in my day because I am the elder Stephen Seatsman of the group. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's the perfect answer from her right there, actually. <laughs> um, I, I think that, and again, I've been around for so long that it's, it's hard to get too excited about anything anymore. But that was cool. It was just plain cool to play for a bit someone that you grew up listening to. So if something bigger comes out of it, you know, I don't think it'll come from them. It'll come from us using it to, to our advantage. And if, if that happens, then we've 
done the right thing, you know? And uh, that's, that's where we hope it goes, right? Yeah. I was at work all day. I didn't think I was going to make it on time because we had some issues here at work and so I had to stay late. But I floored it, stuck a hat on my head, tried to just dress as much as a hillbilly as I could and showed up and it was, it was crazy because we were just kind of doing a, an acoustic thing. But the, t the television company wanted to, to mic us and everything else. And I mean, they don't even like ask permission to like touch you. Literally, they I mean, went up my shirt, stuck a microphone, which was like a sticker. And we just started playing and singing and having fun. And Ozzy and his daughter started walking down. And I mean, it was just epic, really. There's really no words for it. And um, they were honestly the most genuine people ever. I mean, shook our hand, looked us in the eye. Ozzy's whole demeanor of being, you know, oh my gosh, I'm Ozzy, whatever. It, he's so not like that. He, I mean, he was just, it was, it was so cool. Just the experience was just unlike anything ever. And I'm just so happy to have been a part of it. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Think about it. You have a local band from just normal town, you know, in the East Valley of Arizona, who gets an opportunity like this. Really, really exciting. So I got some more clips coming for you, um, but I want to let you know Ozzy Osbourne's people did give the band verbal permission to use whatever footage they want from the TV show. Um, and of course, we have the actual cover that was filmed the night that this was filmed um, of Crazy Train at Bourbon Jack's Bar and Grill in Chandler. So, hope you enjoy. What do you think the surprise is, Dad? I'm going to go for a gold bar. A gold bar. Very well, very well, not very famous. My dad used to sing this when he was pissed. Really? Only one of you knew the way. Oh, hey, Ozzy. How you doing? Your son Jack has set up this surprise for you since he couldn't be here today, so we're going to do a little ditty for you. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, no. All right, guys, here we go.
that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. If this is your first time catching one of our uploads, be sure to check out our other videos up there on YouTube under Country Road Entertainment. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can get a notification every time we do another upload. All right, we'll see you next time.